what is yajna actually? Then also in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna has said that that is the yajna where every act, when you do without any clinging, delusional clinging, then it is done in a manner of yajna. Do all work, but considering that it is all given by God and don't cling to the work itself. Don't cling to the object, the aim, the things by which we do the action or even the whatever result is going to come. Don't cling to that. Let anything, any result come. Do your work in the best possible manner, in the excellent manner. So, yajnathat karmano nyatra lokoyam karma bandhanaha. Tadartham karma kaunteya mukta sangas samachara. So it says that do all the work with a feeling of yajna. That is, you are doing without any clinging. And not only that, without any personal gain, without the feeling of personal gain, always keeping in view of the benefit for others. Benevolent acts. Think of others and do. Even the household. Housewives, they should think that I bring up my children in a manner where I do not get attached, but I give such bringing up, such education, such values that he becomes a very good citizen of this country. How many mothers think like this? They only, they are very eager to feed the children give, buy many, many dresses for the children, buy many toys for the children. My child, my child, my child. This is what generally people are. And that is why they get, they get bound. So this loka is actually, many of you know it. Yadhyathar kanmanonyatra lokoyam karma bandhana. So if you do not do work with a feeling of yajna, that is feeling of without the Sangha and with a feeling of, you know, universalness, then you will be bound. If you only do work for your small family or little bit extended family and my, 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 you'll be bound. And all of you know that you are bound. I don't have to tell. Everybody is bound by our own tendencies our own, you know, wishes and desires, the plans of future, we are bound. So, yajnarthat karmano nyatra loko yam karma bandhana tadartham karma kaunteya he kaunteya he arjuna. So, do work. How? Mukta sangha samachara. Beautiful two words. Two beautiful words, you know. As Swamiji says that write slokas in your walls, these two we should write everywhere. What are these words? Mukta Sangaha, that is rid of all attachments, rid of all delusional clingings. We cling, we cling to our thoughts even, our ideas even. We cling to them. We are not able to let go. Leave aside objects, gross objects. Gross, gross objects, I would say that we rather can, we can still, we can give away, we can renounce. But our thoughts, our ideas, our feelings, very, very difficult to re reject and renounce. I'm not saying the good ones you should renounce. Those which bind us. Such tendencies, such traits in the hands of which we always suffer. We should remove them, reject them. So, Mukta Sangaha. We should not have any attachment to or clingings in our mind to the work when we are doing the work. 
how we have to do say i have a i know that i feel that this work has to be done like this so there will be quarrel if you are in a group another will say no this is the best way so don't cling have discussions and if you feel that another person is saying better some better method do it sometimes it may happen that my method is better but the other person is overpowering so okay give in and let us do and see this is for all this is for what all this these are spiritual gains to know how to keep the mind calm poised loving not getting irritated with others accommodating others shortcomings we must accommodate excusing forgiving these are all spiritual qualities why spiritual qualities because when we imbibe these qualities as we imbibe them we find that we, our mind will become quieter calmer not agitated not disturbed and you know in the perfectly restful mind the self or god gets revealed that is our aim so to reach the aim whatever is necessary we must do